Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you see this video. If this is your first time clicking on my video or visiting my channel, please do consider subscribing and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever I post a video. Please like, share and comment. If you're a returning member of my channel, thank you for stopping by again. Our first topic for this video, guys, is the Essence Kruna Whiskey. The Nigerian superstar is said to be expecting another baby. The lucky lady is said to be a Ghanaian lady. While there is a bit of confusion as Whiskey is claiming he is not sure this is his baby. The impending baby mama claims she is 100% sure the baby is his. It is not surprising that Whiskey is claiming this baby is not his because apart from the last two children that Whiskey has had, he had with Jada, his recent ex, he's had DNA tests for his other kids. So it's normal, it's quite expected, it's expected of him to first deny the ownership of the child until a DNA is carried out. This will actually be Whiskey's fifth baby by four baby mamas. He had his first son by his childhood sweetheart and had his second son by an American-based Guinean lady. The Guinean lady, like I just stated, had to carry out a DNA to prove to Whiskey that that was a baby. Same thing the first sweetheart did to prove that the kids were his. The last two kids are by Jada, his recent ex-girlfriend, but is currently still his manager. Whiskey's love life at this point is very, very complicated to say the least, but let's just forge on. This <laughs> surely explains the reason for the recent split between Jada and Whiskey. Jada has been with Whiskey through a lot, like <laughs> that woman is the very definition of long suffering. Let's forget about money. She's been there, done that, seen that. She's been with him through a lot. She stuck with him right through thick and thin. In fact, she was with Whiskey during the Whiskey Tiwa Savage days. Anyways, as they say, a child is always a blessing, regardless of which circumstance or under which circumstance the child is born. And the child, <laughs> obviously, will be cared for if proven to be his, if the DNA proves that the child is actually with kids. So congratulations are in order for with kids and his baby mama to be. But that brings a question to my mind though. When with the young rich musicians, these musicians are flaunting their money and you can see that they actually have the money to spend, when would they settle down? Instead of just sowing their seeds everywhere, having countless baby mamas and so many children bringing all this confusion into their life for absolutely no reason. Davido was treading the same route until he finally, in the month of November, just settled down with Echioma. At least now he's out of that line. He's a married man. He's settled. That's what we wish for him anyway. We wish that now he's settled and he's, he's actually closed the chapter of him dragging girls up and down. It's not a good look. It's not a good look for the younger ones that are actually looking up to these more established, rich, young guys who have these long line, long lists, long queue 
of baby mamas trailing them everywhere and inadvertently bringing this unnecessary, unwarranted, unneeded confusion and complications into their lives. Anyway, who am I to judge? I wish them well and I repeat, congratulations are in order for them. We can't wait to go for our Mugo and welcome the baby to the world. Moving on to our next story, guys. It's about our Nigerian actress, Juliana Oloyede, who is famous for coming out to state like it's something that has to be announced, to state that she wanted to be celibate until marriage. She takes every opportunity she can get to flaunt it and let everybody know that that's her plan, that's what she intends to do, she needs to be celibate or she wants to be celibate until marriage. Well, she has found out now that um, khaki and leather are not exactly the same thing. She has found out that <laughs> it is actually harder than she thought the journey is a lot more further than where she thought she started from. She just started lamenting that the struggle is real. That everywhere she turns now, she's seeing temptation everywhere and she's being tempted seriously. Now she's considering getting, she's desperate now, in fact, to get a husband so that she can finally get jiggy with it. She's, oof. well, let's just say in the video that she posted lamenting about the whole thing, for lack of a better word, I'll say she sounded like a dog in heat. Anyways, I'm going to post the video for you guys to listen to her and hear her in her own words. I'm going to draw this to a close here, guys. Please, before you leave, if you haven't subscribed, please, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever I post a video. Please like, share, and comment on this video. Until I come your way again, guys. Stay blessed. Bye. Your dearest sister has been going through a lot. And my body has been in gish, 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 fighting against me. And I'm just like, it's almost as if I don't know my body again. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where did my body go? Where did my body go? It's getting more difficult to abstain from sex. Oh my God, I don't know. Everything in my head is screaming sex, 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 sex. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I say you don't say anything, you don't know that the same pressure that you go through, I go through it probably even worse. And I have to put my body in contrast and say, what did I really do to you? Why are you making me go through all these circumstances? <laughs> Let me tell you all the conversation I had with God. I was like, God, um, so Paul said that if we know that our body is gish gish we can marry already. So I'm thinking, the way that my body is doing me, I'm thinking of getting married <laughs> for sex. <laughs>